Major Slack Attack. Boy, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk this more Skyrim pure combat. We are here in Deepwood Redoubt, and we are after the Ancient Shrouded Armor. This is the quest that we we have up the bat right now. This most miscellaneous quest: locate the Assassin of Old. We are going to have to work our way through three areas: Deepwood Redoubt, which is where we are now. Deepwood Vale, which is going to be a total bitch, and Hag's End. And in Hag's End is where we're going to find the Assassin of Old and get our new Ancient Shrouded Arbor. For now, um, you know what? It would be really good if we had some extra magic protection because when we get to the end of Hag's End, um, it's, it's going to be hell. And we're going to need all the magic resistance we can muster up. So first things first, let's go to the Lord Stone and hook that up. And let's go to our little drop-off point at the Shrine of Merun's Dagon. And I leveled up. More points into health. And we have two perk points. Let's spend one perk point on regeneration. Healing spells cure 50% more. This is going to be very useful. And another on magic resistance rank 1 in the alteration skill tree right up here. All right. There we go, that's that taken care of. Next. Um, I want to use my new main melee weapon. What's down there? It's prob there's probably an ice wraith down there. What do you say there, Shadow Mirror? You feel like fighting an ice wraith? You do? Alright. <laughs> I can always count on you. I don't see him. He's probably hiding somewhere. Huh. Okay, I'll take it. I hate ice wraiths. And how about a little Campbell's vegetable soup? All right, boys, you know the routine. Line up here for a spanking. You're mine. Yeah. Come on down. Atta boy. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have to call in some reinforcements. Oh, Frosty. There we go. Okay, Frosty, get on that guy. He's really bothering me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, hold up here, hold up. Go get him, Frosty, while I heal up. Alright. You on it? <laughs> You're an outlaw, too. Oh man, taking some heat, eh? I <laughs> love when they say that. I just love when they say that. We are rounded, fall back. What's this? Huh, interesting. Maybe I should check the other guys and see if they have anything. They rarely do. These low level bandits here. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Frosty. Good, good job. Get you a case of cold ones for that. Excellent. Okay, so Lord Stone hooked up. We now have plus 50 armor, plus 25% magic resistance. Let's go make a little stop, a little detour at the DBHQ and grab some vegetable soup ingredients because we're running low. And there is a cooking pot where we're going in Deepwood Vale. Alright, shields down, Scotty. Wait here, Shadow Mirror. I should dump off some junk too. Don't need this Penitus Oculatus gear. Just took it for a lark. And I think I'm gonna dump this as well. I don't need that anymore. 
What's this hunt? What's all this crap doing here? Okay, wait a minute. Let's get clear out the inventory a bit here. Okay, that looks good. Very good. Carry weight down. All right, I want, let's say 10 of each. 10 cabbage, 10 leeks, 10 taters, and 10 tomatoes. Excellent. Let me just double check my weapons here. Staff of Paralysis, check. Staff of Frost Atronach, check. Melee weapon, check. Dwarven bolts, check. Crossbow, check. Steel bolts, check. We're good. All right, back to Deepwood Redoubt. Okay, Shadow Mirror, you stay here and try to stay out of trouble, okay? <laughs> there is one guy left actually here that I didn't do in. Let's just, uh. We're gonna go melee on him, but I wanna kinda like do a surprise paralysis attack on him. Or her, whomever that is, I think. Right there. Right there. Hold still, environment. Great. Haha! <laughs> Just make sure you stay down. All right. Something ran out. My orc is sort of flames. Let's use up all these little petty soul gems here. It'll level me up. Level me up? Nope, not that one. There you go. No, down you go again. You get a hot spanking. I prefer double power attacks now instead of uh, dual wielding power attacks. I notice when you're using the uh, the staff of paralysis and you do a dual wielding power attack. Let's see if she has a dual wielding weapon. Okay, here we go. A dagger, for example. You tend to move forward. See that? I can't stand that. It puts you out of position when you put somebody down with paralysis. You kind of move forward and move forward and move forward. You keep having to readjust. So now, my new thing is to just use the shield and double power attack and just stay in one spot okay out you go let's get our stealth on all right Apprentice robes, gauntlets, Kai's token, try to boost Shroud of Cal and Ring of Minor Archery. Let me just make sure everything is right at the snuff. That's correct. Correct. Number eight should be Detect Life. We're going to be using that extensively. All right, let's do this. Stone Flesh once again, working on leveling up Alteration. <laughs> Watch out for the traps. <laughs> These two guys up here, you could sh should be able to one-shot them. Down he goes. Don't worry about the guy up there. This guy should be able to two-shot him. If he comes at you, the pendulum starts swinging. And he walks right through the pendulums. Huh. Yep, not the brightest bulb in the bunch. Duh, it's your trap, dude. 
<laughs> okay, let's see if we can get through this. And go! Yeah, let's turn that off. Alright, in here are some frost runes or shock runes. Um, let's just use our flames. We haven't used that in a while. Okay, set that off. I think they're frost runes. Okay, yeah, set those off. Bound bow up. Okay, watch out for the bone chimes here because you're going to alert somebody sleeping over there. So go right in between the two bone chimes very carefully. Uh oh. If you alert them, go all the way over here. Just wait. She's going to get up, investigate, and then go back to bed. There? Nope, nobody here. It's all good. It's just the wind. Nah, 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 that was nothing. It's just the wind. Go back to bed. I had a girl. Okay, now you just like to jump on top of this arcane enchanter here. And let's use a, some kind of poison to expedite the fatal incident of this individual over there. Um, what can we use? I'm going to paralysis this poison. That'll work. Are you dead? Look at the way she died. All right, boys, calm down, calm down. <laughs> wow, Slack, golden opportunity. What do you think I have? Come on. Okay, and she's got um, she's got a key. Yeah, this thing here, deep wood without key. Make sure you grab that, and maybe a couple potions around here. And that key will open this door here. A master locked door. Expert locked door, my bad. Okay, stone flesh, bound bow. Watch out for a trap right there. Pressure plate swings that spike door shut. Turn you into a nice piece of Swiss cheese. So watch out for that. These guys you should be able to one shot them each. And before your bound bow runs out, go right up here. There's gonna be somebody sitting in the chair. Right there. What you can do is just jump over here and shoot them right in the head. It's gonna take two or three shots. But by the time they get up. There you go. And that's that. Alright, and that's it. We're through Deep Root Redoubt. It. Now it's time. And now it's time for the hellacious Deepwood Vale. This is a big open area in between Deepwood Redoubt and um, Hag's End, which is where that's our eventual destination. There's at least a dozen forest sworn in here, and this is an incredibly difficult to run as a stealth archer, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go mainly as a combat archer with some help from our Spectral Assassin and the Frost Atronach and a few other toys. For now, Sneak along the left side, just stick to the left side, clamber over these rocks. Stick to the far left, jump when necessary. And you're looking for this tower here, that's exactly where you want to be. This right here is your safe zone. The Forsworn rarely, 
operator board rarely. They sometimes come back here, but rarely. So this is a great place to make a standoff. Okay, for now, um, let's switch our staff on over to the Frost Atronach. And let's use our Spectral Assassin to start off. Okay, now let me explain my strategy here because I'm going to be busy. It's going to look like total pandemonium, but everything is very controlled, okay? This is what we're going to do. There's a guy in here. We're going to take him out with a Spectral Assassin. All these four sworn, this is really weird. Um, when they take a little bit of damage, they often run away in fear. Just after a little bit of damage, okay? So there's somebody in there. See, right there. So we're going to pop in a Spectral Assassin in there. The Spectral Assassin is going to attack him or her. He's going to run away in fear, run out down here over the bridge and into an open area there. The Spectral Assassin is going to chase after him or her and all the other Forsworn are going to gather around the Spectral Assassin. Then we're going to come out with the Bound Bow and start picking everybody off. If the, the worst thing or rather the thing you really have to watch out for is some archers on on your left here they're gonna flank you okay so that's what you have to worry about but other than that just keep going at them hard with the bow or the or the crossbow and um, when the spectral assassin folds pop in a frost astronaut and keep at them if you take too much heat come back here heal up and then go back at it all right that's the plan um, and whenever you need to find out where people are you're gonna need to do this a lot use detect life that's why you probably use mostly the crossbow, but if we have enough magic out, we're going to use the bound bow because it does more damage. Okay, that's the plan. Let's do it. Let's start out with the special spectral assassin. Sneak right up here. Pop him in there. Let's keep track. Okay, here we go. This is great because they're all crowded around, so this is easy targets. One down. So we take some heat from the archers, that's one thing I have to worry about. Two down. Three down. Go, Specky baby. Go. Run. Run with it. All right. You the man. Okay, it's hard to get a clear line of fire on this guy. Oh, you killed him already? He rocks. <laughs> Uh oh, okay, here we go. Okay, somebody up there. Bunch of guys down here. Here they, here they come. Alamo. Pop up Frost Astronaut, come back here. Don't forget, we're as weak as a kid. We have no armor to speak of. We're in our light armor. Yeah, 81. Okay, how are you in there, Frosty? He's like, you know, huh. That don't bother me. Go ahead, take your best shot. Uh-oh. this guy here got him <laughs> hang on frosty folded okay up you go Uh oh, 
Who's this guy? Okay, I gotta watch Frost he doesn't fold on my flank and uh, release my left flank prematurely. You. Fall back, that's right. Uh oh, here they come. thought it was going to be stealth archery. Yeah. Now that we've got archery up to the target level, we can open combat right up. Yeah, that's right. Down you go. All right, love it. <laughs> Give him a right nice spanking, eh, Frosty? Way to go. You the man. Okay. See anybody else? Boy, we cleared him out right nicely. Okay, there's one over there, and there's three over there. Okay, tell you what, can we wait? Good. Let's wait 24 hours and respawn the Spectral Assassin. Yeah, that works a lot better than trying to go Stealth Archer through this whole area. It's extremely difficult to uh, go Stealth Archer in open areas, even when you got high sneak. Okay. Crank out his invisible suit. Okay, three guys over there. One guy is a really tough four sworn Briarheart. It's the middle one. That guy there is the four sworn Briarheart. I'll tell you how to deal with him when we get to him. For now, let's deal with this guy here. Yeah, that's right enough. Okay. Bound bow up. It's kind of like a guard outside in front of the Forsworn Briar's Heart, Briar Heart's tent. Right there. He's got to go down first. Good. Great. Okay. So, Forsworn Briar Heart, melee all the way. Let's get on our one handed gear, our warrior gear. That guy. And we want the staff of paralysis. He's up. Okay, here we go. Down you go. Let's have a little veggie suit. And you get a hot spanking. Uh uh. Uh uh. Down you go. Who said you could get up? Take this opportunity to recharge my uh, staff of paralysis. There we go. What that cheese? Timber! Okay, 
Hold up, hold up here, hold up, hold up. What do you think you're doing? One more. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And... Jeez, 50 points of magic damage. It's very interesting. Yeah, we're definitely taking that along. Okay, let's see what the chest gave up. Come on, chest. Just, pre just pretend it's a practice run. Fuck! <laughs> Pardon my French. Of all things to get in a pure combat run with no smithing. Ah, well. <laughs> okay, who's left? One guy over there. My sentiments exactly. I'll try to hide under the table. It's not going to do any good. There we go. That's the whole area clear. Yeah, instead of struggling through this area as a stealth archer, it's going to take you like easily an hour to do that. And you're going to it's going to be hell. Yeah, just go at it hard. We're all done here. This is important too because once we get up there on top of the waterfalls, if all these guys here are still alive, um it's going to be a bitch trying to get out of there. There is one thing you can do though, if you're really determined not, not to deal with this area. Do exactly what I told you in the beginning, okay? You're gonna come behind this tower here. You're gonna sneak up here like this. There's a guy in there, you should be able to sneak by him, no problem. The big guy up there sitting down at the picnic bench. Come right about here. Then take one of your potions of brief invisibility. Glug glug glug. And you can sneak right on by. 20 seconds should be enough to get you by this guy and up the stairs and up a little bit of the second stairs. It'll wear off right about now, but you'll be you'll be in the clear and you'll be at Hag's end. And then you can either run if you get discovered or just continue to sneak up. And you're at the door to Hag's end. You can bypass the whole deep wood veil. But I don't recommend it because, like I said, once you get up at the top there, um, if all those guys are still alive, you won't be able to fast travel away, and they'll all be activated and trying to, you know, you know, kill you. <laughs> so here we go, Hag's End, and that is coming up next video, and this is where we're gonna acquire the ancient, ancient shrouded armor. Hey, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.